Hey YouTube, Everyday Man, got another video for you. Um, another trailer update. We're on, I guess we're on week five slash six, I guess. Um, basically, it's the fourth update um, that I'm that I've done, and here we are. Um, basically, what you see here is a completely finished trailer, except for the tailgate. Um, we really are coming close to the end. The end is in sight. It seemed like it was going to go on forever, but um, the end is near. Um, so, I guess we'll explain what we got here. So, um, last time you saw it, there was no um, trim coil around it. There was no wrap around the outside. We have done that. Um, and the top rails, last time you saw them, were silver. They have been black powder coated, as well as we added um, some end caps here, um, just to help keep water out of there. So, we've done that. Um, and everything at this point is been stuck down, sickened down, and riveted. Um, so like I said, the walls are completely done, except we have to wire the lights. The lights are attached, they're just not wired up yet. So um, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I'm going to show you some other details, so you kind of how we did this. The wrap was not real easy, I, I'll tell you that. It wasn't as hard as I was fearing, but um, it was not easy, I'll tell you that. Um, so basically our trim coil, which I showed you in the last video, it's some of this stuff basically. Um, aluminum trim coil. Basically this was 24 inch trim coil tall, and our walls were 18, but we didn't cut them to 18, as some might expect. We cut them down to 21, I believe it was. And basically what we ended up doing um, was we just, with the top rail on the top, um, with this rail here on the top, like this, as our cap, instead of wrapping up and over like we talked about, we added a cap. And so basically the trim, which you can see down the side here, um, goes up to the top here and stops. It doesn't bend at all on the top here because of this um, piece here. But on the bottom, we did end up wrapping it um, underneath and into the back. So basically the trim goes to about here um, it, it folds underneath here and goes back to here about. So, we've done that. To cut our trim coil, um, it was in a roll, a big roll of trim. And what we ended up doing was coming here to our shop smith. Um, and this is the shop smith. It was set up as a table saw like it is now with a carbon tip uh, circular saw blade. And we took it and we have this piece here and we just move this guy to 20 basically that this guy was over here right here and the gap between this fence and this guy was 21 and then we did we have another fence that we put behind here just to help support the other end so it can't really go, it couldn't really go anywhere and we just rolled it as we were going through the table saw we had it here in our hand and we rolled it around until it was completely cut so that's how we cut the three inches off. So we have a three inch trim piece, and then we do have some extra of the 21, but we cut the whole thing to 20, 21 just because it was easier to do, honestly. Wrapped it in masking tape so it would stay together, and we cut it. Then what we did was we took the whole side piece, which as you recall, it was not attached to the base at all, so um, we took this whole thing and walked it back to the table back there. Um, we walked it all the way back here to the table and set it on the table. This is our workbench. We set it on top of the workbench and that's where we rolled out our trim on top, cut it to size, bent it. Um, we used some two by fours and a bunch of clamps, a bunch of different kinds of clamps to clamp it, to help bend it. And then we also bent it and used our, um, used the mount, not the mount, a dead blow hammer like this with shot in it. 
and kind of help bend it to get really crisp corners. And it really did turn out quite nice. We did that with all the pieces. Um, all the side pieces, we did that with the left, the right side first, then the left side. Um, and basically, on the front, um, we went all around down the side. So you can see down the side has trim on it now. Has a wall, an enclosed wall. And, and what we did, we bent this side down and on, t on the front here. And then on the front, we cut it short and bent a whole, full bend in half with our uh, me metal bending brake. Um, and so we have this nice crisp bend so there's no sharp edge here. It's just a nice rolled edge to catch. Um, and as you can see here, we just, I just, we just added rivets, one in the middle, one in the bottom, and the ones on the top, of course. Um, and so that's how we did that. It was actually not as hard as I was fearing, we were fearing. It really wasn't, it wasn't too bad at all. Um, and so what we, what we ended up doing was we completely sickered that on. This, the siding we sickered completely on with our Sikaflex and clamped down and let it sit for a whole night. We did that kind of in the afternoon and then we let it sit overnight to kind of cure and then we took the clamps off, brought it over here and swapped it out for another one and went back and did the other one, did the same thing, let it sit overnight, then came back and we did the front. The front we didn't let sit overnight just because we really, at that point, we really wanted to get it kind of in place and kind of riveted down. And so we did that and it still is fine. Um, you can see if I push on it from the back, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, you know, it carries a little bubble, but it doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's really, actually really nice. It looks really great. Um, I think it does. And then so we reared the bottom down and then I came back. We put all the rivets in basically each corner. We had, we couldn't put the top rail on. Um, we couldn't put this top rail on until the very last because we have these corner posts here. And with the bottom not attached, we had to get the corner post in and put the rivets in. There's four rivets in the bottom underneath there. Um, like these, but there are four in the corner. So we couldn't put the posts in until we got the bottom attached. So we put the bottom in. And then I put the post in and riveted it from the outside and the inside, put all the rivets in the corner post on each side. Um, then I put the top rail on, got all my holes lined up and put all the rivets in. After I sick it, of course, every joint has sick flex on it. Um, and it's so strong. I am so happy with how stiff and stout this thing is. Um, before, if I did this, what I'm doing right now, I'm literally pushing my whole weight against it, bunch of my weight against it, and it's not moving at all. If I would have done that in the last time we did this trailer, this whole thing would be moving back and forth. This does not move at all. I love it. <laughs> um, that was my biggest thing, was I remembered last time, see if I do it, even on the side here, if I push on it, it does not move. This thing is stout, man. I'll tell you what, it's, it's great. Like I said, we added these end caps here just to keep water out. They're also powder coated black. Um, then the inside is just open. It, it just, it turned out really great. Like I said, these things are stout. Um, if I move them, even the back, the back moves a little bit just because there's no tailgate on it or anything like that. Um, we're talking about adding a couple more rivets in the back, towards the back, but we can always do that. It's not a big deal. Um, but the front is super stout, and as you saw, along the sides, it's still really stout. So that's great. And like you said, you can see the lights. We added our tail, our back marker light, to mark the back of the trailer. This one in the middle is actually going to be a turn signal. So there's going to be a turn signal in the middle which um, is a really great. And then in the front, we also have a front marker light right here. And um, as you can see, they come through the holes here. And then we're gonna attach another connector like this to that so we can unplug them. If the light ever dies, we can simply unplug them, cut the connector off and add a new light. Um, and then along here, we have our turn signal, same story. Um, 
this one, and then add another connector like that. We have all these connectors right here. This type of connector, you just cut it in half and you can use that connector just fine. Um, same thing on the other side. Um, you can see here. So that's kind of that. That's where we're at. Like, so this thing is super stout. Um, could not be more happy with how strong it turned out. So um, that's that. Well, the thing left to do now is, like I said, wire the lights, and then we need to put on a tailgate. Um, we actually have our pieces. We're going to have diamond plate tailgate. It's going to be really shiny if you're following it, which will be super annoying. But um, if that really does become a problem, we can always wrap it and trim. We have enough trim to wrap it. Um, or we could just um, paint it or do all kinds of things we can do with that. So that's not a huge deal. But we're going to go with diamond plate just because that's going to give us strength without having to add a whole bunch of structure. We are going to add structure. Um, we're going to have these guys go this way. And then the track going up and down like this. Opposite of what we have in the walls, basically. I'm just going to turn them 90 just because that's going to give us more strength. Because these guys are not as they're with a thickness, they're nice and strong going long, short ways, but the long ways, they tend to bow a little bit. So we're going to add some strength there. Then we just need to add our trailer lights, you know, our um, all of our lights we have to add, and our um, lights for our license plate and all that. So hopefully within the next, well, not this weekend. This weekend I'm going away. We're both... Um, to an auto show down in Charlotte, so um, we might do some video down there just because we'll see. Um, so this there's this week there's not this weekend they're not gonna get a whole lot done, and then next weekend hopefully we can get our um, tailgate on and our lights wired. Hopefully we'll see. It might be two weeks before that all gets done, and then the trailer is literally done. We can do a completely trailer. No more updates, trailer finished. So that'll be great. Really excited for that. Um, it, it's just going to be great having this back so we can uh, move some stuff, get, you know, gravel, get, you know, anything really. It's, it's just such a useful trailer. Um, so anyway, that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of where we're going. And hopefully, like I said, the next couple weeks, it will be done and that'll be a great day because this has been in the works for quite a while it's this trailer's been out of commission for a good year at least no a good two years probably um so anyway this is where we're at and thanks for watching everybody and as always y'all be safe out there thanks